Well, a lethargic start to the season from Partick Thistle in terms of points, but signs of life in terms of general play. Alan Archibald's side welcomed Craig Levine's hearts to Glasgow's West End. Partick Thistle are still looking for their first league win of the season. They make a couple of changes from the side that lost in the League Cup to Rangers during the week. Doolin and Storey come back in for Lawless and Salmon. Hearts make three changes from the side that beat Hamilton Ackies last weekend. Hughes, Cowie and Randall come in for Smith, Brown, Jim and Lafferty. They took part of this until almost the end of October to record their first league win last season. And of course they ended in the top six, so they won't be too nervous just yet. That's a lovely touch from Doolin to release Spittle. Spittle has story to his right. The good opening for Thistle. Spittle taking it on himself. And not too far away from the opening goal. Might have been better slipping in story. This is Gonsalves. Up against Turnbull. It's a good ball for Smith. A good save from Ryan Scully. His first action of the match. There's a good effort from Smith coming in from the right hand side. Forward comes. Pull him again, no challenge, and he plays it to Spittle. Easily away from Zelak. Past Aaron Hughes, it's opening up for Spittle! And Thistle are in front. Fantastic solo goal, but terrible goalkeeping from John McLaughlin. Straight through the legs. Spittle not complaining, six goals for the season. Thistle didn't start the game all that brightly but they've been the better side since the opening goal and here's Spittle looking for a second he's so inventive so full of confidence Barton winning possession there's a Spittle once more at the heart of everything that has been positive about this old mile story up against Berra. Big deflection. There's Barton! Oh, that looked like the second goal for Thistle. Shooter it was off the line. And on the stroke of half time, Thistle so close to doubling their advantage. Well, Hearts simply have to be better than they were in the first half. Here's Jamie Walker. That's a good effort. And that did not look too far away from the equaliser. The look on Jamie Walker's face is testament to that. Hart's doing all the pressing in this second half. Here's Randall. Another effort from distance, and that might well have dipped under the crossbar, but for Ryan Scully's intervention. And he definitely needed to get a touch in this, the goalkeeper. Corner taken quickly by the substitute Milinkovic. It's a good looking ball. This Callahan with the header off the line. What's been given? It's the equaliser. And it's Ross Callahan's second goal in two games. Danny Devine can't believe it. But the equaliser for Hearts. Don Robertson quickly awarding the goal on the advice, it seems, of his assistant. Well, that's inconclusive. Gonzalez felt it was over the line. And Callahan. Has the equalising goal for Hearts, and you can't say it's not deserved. Himself is going down, no free kick. And Thistle have it back, but Hearts winning possession once more. Jamie Walker's been much more lively in the second half, gets it back from Gonzalez, goes down. Well, I thought for a moment the referee was pointing to the penalty spot, but he seemed to be pointing to the ball to say it was one. Let's have another look then. Oh, and Devine looks like he might have got away with that one. McGinn. Hits it back again. Moving away from Hughes. The story at the front post. Straight at McLaughlin and the rebound blocked as well. A great run from McGinn. And Story not really testing McLaughlin. We're leaving the game at home and 
we should see the game out. Um, it comes with a bad kick from a goalkeeper, but we don't deal with it after that. Our, our other um, his teammates should get him out of jail, and we don't. We take a quick free, uh, quick corner, sorry, and we don't react. So real disappointment because I thought we'd rode the storm. We dealt with a lot of the heart's pressure they had just after our, our enforced change. When you were in for a tough time, and we haven't done particularly well here in the last couple of years, uh, so to go go behind and then to show. You know, good energy and resilience and enthusiasm and desire to get back in the match uh, is always pleasing for, for a manager. Well, just as well, Scottish football invested in goal line technology. Well, of course, that never actually happened. Instead, we rely on you two to sort things out. Yeah. Michael, Stephen, was this over the line? Who knows? Certainly not the referee. <laughs> I mean, how he can make this decision uh, is beyond me. I mean, my, that's inconclusive. My, my instinct is it wasn't. You, were, I was well, at, you were at the game, I was at the game and... Uh, the linesman was down at uh, that end and I, I was pretty certain that uh, he wasn't making much of a call either and Don Robertson, the referee, uh, you know, made the call, yep. went back to the, the halfway line, but... Pff, I mean, uh, but if you're not sure, how can you make that call you can. so quickly you can. as they did? You know, for me, it's a big call to be making, but it didn't really look, you know... Well, one well, no, I mean, it's very difficult to tell. That's the point. And, it, you know, you, you can't make the, the call and give it when you're, you can't be 100% sure. And, and we've looked at that, you know, endless times. As I said, at the, at the time, uh, you know, uh, during the game, I, my gut was that it wasn't over the line. OK. Uh, as you mentioned, Michael, you were there. Uh, what did you make of the Hearts formation? Well, they, they started out with, you know, the back three or, or five at the back and, and four tight in the midfield. Gonsalves up the top on yeah. his own and trying to get support to him. But all too often, you know, when the, when the ball did come anywhere near to him, you see here, he's on his own against the three defenders. He's actually offside at that point. But Partick Thistle's back three, easy for them to play against Gonsalves when the midfield four are not up in support. You see here when the ball gets to Crystal Pera's feet, he's got options, three options there to play short. As soon as they go to play longer, though, that midfield have got to get up in support. They're not. Look at the space, the gap between Gonsalves and the midfield. He's there against two defenders. He actually has a wonderful first touch, but he gets crowded out. Mm. It's, and it's far too difficult that, um, you know, Hearts midfield four in the first half in particular were, were just detached from Gonsalves. Again, look, four options to play short. So direct. You He's play, really di a target you play man. direct and look. Look at that gap. Yeah. Massive. Jamie Walker, who was the main sort of man to get in support, that's the gap. Huge. And, you know, Gonsalves, as you guys are saying there, he's not the type of guy who's going to be playing, uh, you know, as a, as a target man to yeah. hold the ball up. The second half, things got a little bit better in regards to getting up in support. But if you're going to play that shape, for me, you've got to allow one or two of the players to play closer to Gonsalves in the first place and try and actually play some passes. Because if you're just going long, yeah, they're missing out, they're missing out the time. second ball as well. From a Partick Thistle perspective, Blair Spittle seems to be a player yeah. in a tremendous vein of form yeah. at the moment. You know, on, the, on the flip side, you know, Partick Thistle, they had playing against the back three as well of Hearts, but they had two strikers up there yeah. and Blair Spittle in behind supporting them. And it meant that when the ball was in the final third, they had bodies there. This is a great counter-attack from Thistle. 3v3, Christoph Barrow narrows off far too much and Blair Spittle should slide the ball into Miles Storey. That's where the defender should be sliding over. He eventually has the strike, but he drags it wide. But when you're playing against the back three, where do you try and get at them? Down the sides. This is Turnbull with a wonderful ball down the side for Storey, who was a, a real sort of thorn in uh, Hart's side uh, yesterday. Puts in the cross. McLaughlin less than convincing with that one. I think he was concerned that he was going to get tackled by, uh, by Doolan. But again, look at Hart's. Poorly set up, getting countered down the side. Here's McGinn, well into Hart's oh, yeah. half before he even gets approached. Story drags Christoph Berra down into the corner where he doesn't want to be, opens the space up for uh, Spittle to drive into, and then John Souter can't continue the run there. He's got to pass him on because look at the gap he's left for Blair Spittle to drop the shoulder and have the strike. Yeah. Terrible moment for McLaughlin and the, the Hearts goal. It's all too easy though before was, he hits the shot. It was far too easy and defensively Hearts were, you know, they were stretched in that first half and a lot of it was Blair Spittle at the heart of it. Here's a wonderful little nutmeg on Conor Randall and he gets the strike off. But that front three from, from Thistle really stretched Hearts back three and got it down the sides of them. Hearts in the first half, they couldn't do that because Gonsalves was isolated. Okay, despite...